Here we are again with another drone comparison. After building the Mario 8 and successfully testing it, I wanted to increase its range. To achieve this, I'm planning to go with lithium-ion batteries. First, I will compare the Mario 8 directly with the Bob 57 using the same battery. I will use the FullSend 4000 mAh long-range battery that I am used to flying with the Bob, although I know the Mario can handle larger batteries. I chose a long ridge to fly a variable distance. As long as I feel comfortable, I will fly along the ridge and plan to turn around when the connection gets bad. The Bob will start with a very good, but weaker video transmission system, the O3. However, it's also the drone that I'm used to flying in the mountains. This allows me to focus on getting familiar with the new surroundings here. I think the O3 will limit how far I can fly for this test, or my confidence with the O3 here. On this sunny day with light winds from the front, I don't expect any problems during the flight. The Bob performs well during the climb, and all values in the OSD are looking good. After starting with the Mario, I noticed the significantly better video transmission signal from the O4 Air unit. It's great to be able to switch between the two systems in the same spot and see and feel the difference. Using the O4 with the Mario 8 was definitely the right choice. I feel braver flying with the O4 system because I can see more details at the mountain's ridge. I also feel safer because I can see hikers on the trails more easily. During the climb, you can see that the Mario has a slightly higher energy consumption. This is due to its higher weight and faster ascent. On the other hand, the horizontal speed of the Bob is slower and should be less efficient. Note that the ampere meter on the Bob shows too little when flying with the lithium ion battery, while the one on the Mario shows too much. This will reduce the difference in consumption. I'm very curious about the results because the energy consumption of the two drones is very similar so far. Take a look at the throttle positions during the flight as well. The Mario is very responsive and requires a lower throttle position to perform the same maneuvers. This should improve efficiency and enable the 8-inch propellers to reach their full potential.
Before concluding, let's take a closer look at the two drones. My Bob 57 is two years old and came with the O3 air unit. Initially, I had some trouble getting used to this drone and its flight behavior. The 1500 kV motors behave quite differently from those of the Nazgul that I was used to flying two years ago. On the other hand, the drone is highly efficient and can easily handle the 4000 mAh battery. The drone also has great handling and range with the 3300 mAh LiPo. I attached a GoPro Bones with a direct power supply from the BEC of the flight controller. The Bob weighs 600 grams without an action cam. A battery weighing 400 to 500 grams should not be a problem. As far as I know, the Mario 8 Fold was released at the end of 2023. It is not the newest drone, but it has been getting more and more attention recently. While the foldable design is not a major selling point for the community, the drone's efficiency and long-range capabilities have garnered significant attention. The 1050 kV motors shipped with the drone make this possible. Other motors with slightly higher kVs also seem to work well. I built the Mario 8 myself and chose the recommended Speedy B 1050 kV motors for my setup. As I mentioned before, my Mario is equipped with an O4 air unit. Although the default mounting is for the O3, the upgrade kit for the Mario series works here too. Without the GoPro, the Mario 8 build weighs 777 grams. Carrying batteries weighing between 800 and 900 grams should be no problem. After landing, I recharged the batteries as usual. According to the OSD, the Bob used 2,353 milliamp hours. The charger said 2,686 milliamp hours were recharged. The flight time was 10 minutes and 28 seconds. For the Mario, the OSD showed 3,022 milliamp hours. The charger showed that 2,809 milliamp hours were recharged. The flight time was 10 minutes and 36 seconds. It was nearly the same flight time as with the Bob. Therefore, we can compare the 2,686 milliamp hours of the Bob with the 2,809 milliamp hours of the Mario, which had nearly the same flight time. There is only a 123 milliamp hours difference. The Bob is much lighter and only carries a GoPro bones. The Mario, however, had to carry the larger GoPro Mini. Honestly, I thought the Mario would need less energy because of its larger props and low KV motors. On the other hand, the Mario is not at the limit of its possible load. We will definitely go further with the Mario by attaching a 6,000 mAh lithium-ion battery or two 4,000 mAh batteries to it. The flight behavior should be good for a drone of this size. I don't want to talk much about what if, but the test here was a good start for comparing the Mario and the Bob when using the same battery. Now, I'm excited to test the Mario with a higher capacity. Unfortunately, I broke my right foot a few days ago, so I can't go flying for a few weeks. I hope to recover soon. Until then, we'll have to be patient. But I'll definitely fly with the 8,000 milliamp hours lithium-ion configuration as soon as possible. So stay tuned. Cheers.